Greetings from Tuscany. I have the privilege to introduce to you the team responsible for the development of the PPW panel. If you're getting anything out of that panel in conjunction with our book, then you owe a great deal to the three people to my right. I'd like to introduce the team in alphabetical order. Um, the prime scripter of the PPW panel is Giuliani Abbiati. Um, she is the one who has taken some actions that I wrote and transformed them into things that are full of options, full of utility, um, very, very fine scripting performance. Um, to her right is Alessandro Bernardi. He is a Photoshop expert, a Photoshop instructor known throughout the world. Um, he organizes my courses here in Italy and he was in charge of the documentation for this um, project and the documentation for the PPW um, panel is enormous. If you open up the help panel, you will find documentation for every single action, sometimes at great length, sometimes as much as 30 or 40 pages. That's because Alessandro thought that he was paid by the word for some of it instead of being paid by the piece. But be that as it may, there's an extraordinary amount of documentation and it's available in both languages because we have translated what each other have, has done. Um, Alessandro has also been giving me uh, quite a bit of technical support, often using some Italian words that are probably not in the Italian dictionary. Um, I am Dan Margulis. I, it was my concept to begin with about three years ago. I wrote a very simple configurator panel which accessed certain actions that I was using repetitively. Um, and I thought they were pretty good at the time and so did some of my classes. But these three people said, oh, you know, we can do much better than that. Um, we, we have better automated ways of doing this, and they were right. But anyway, and on far right is Marco Olivoto. He is also a noted Photoshop authority. He runs a series of classes here in Italy called uh, Color Correction Campus. He's also a technical advisor to me. He and Alessandro have uh, found any number of uh, errors on my part, uh, for which I thank them with very bad grace. But anyhow, I'd like to turn to them and let them say in their own words some of the things that they were doing. So I'll start with Alessandro and ask um, about the, this documentation process. How do we keep it straight and why do we think it's important? Well, documentation is a very important part of the panel, but I would say it's a very important part of the full workflow uh, because uh, you, you, were, you tried to uh, improve the, the workflow during the years. And uh, this is a fast workflow, so you needed at a certain point to build some actions because there were so many repetitive tasks. And uh, the best way to manage this, of course, was in a panel. Now, thanks to the, uh, to, uh, to the work that Juliana has done in scripting, uh, the panel has become a very powerful tool, a very complex and flexible tool. But beyond that, uh, many people love to have that kind of tool. The, the kind of tool, if I click one button, then I have uh, the action <coughs> done very quickly. But if I alt click the button, then I have a lot of options. Uh, and, um, but beyond that, many people ask uh, always uh, what's beyond an action, and what's, what's beyond a technique. So the most important thing is to give to the people the tool to be fast and, and effective. But um, Beyond that, uh, we need to give to the people uh, what's really behind the technique. And that's why we need the documentation. But of course, as this is a very complex uh, uh, workflow, um, we, we have to, to, to put a lot of documentation for every new technique and every step that is involved in the, in the picture postcard. And uh, the problem was that usually when you buy a tool or a plugin, uh, you get the documentation that is separate from the tool. But uh, what we wanted to, we discussed a lot with Marco about that. And we, what we wanted to do was to give to the people the documentation inside the panel, because otherwise you have to exit from Photoshop or uh, put Photoshop in background and then open an Acrobat or a PDF reader. And then you don't know which PDF you have to read. But otherwise, uh, if you have everything inside the panel, thanks to Juliana, you just push one button, uh, that is, of course, the help button, and then you have all the actions, uh, uh, all, uh, and every action features a very uh, deep, the complete uh, documentation. And, of course, managing all this is not so easy. We are talking about uh, more than 150 pages of documentation, and every time we improve the panel, 
and the new techniques uh, are developed uh, and, and improved, uh, we need to update the documentation. So we must keep the eyes on that and uh, work hard to, uh, be, to, to keep everything uh, uh, working correctly. And the translation is delicate as well. Oh, because yes. We yes. translated into Italian some of the things that Dan wrote. Yeah. And then uh, we, we shared the translation, I did a part and you did another, uh, into English with Dan's supervision of what we were writing in Italian. But sometimes, you know, the concepts can come out differently in different languages. So it's important to be very clear in what you want to communicate. One example may not work in English and in Italian at all. And it may work in Italian or the other yes. way around. Yes, yes. But it's, it, right. it's, it's certainly necessary because um, the, the biggest action in the group is the sharpening action. And this is something that I've been developing over several years. And every now and then I would find something that was wrong with it. And I would patch it up and make it a little bit bigger and a little bit better. And it got to the point that it was more than 150 steps. Um, Juliana this year uh, looked it over very carefully and she revised it and she got it down to 110 steps. So it runs a little bit faster than it used to do. But it still was just an action. What has been added to it has been a lot of other functionality. Um, so in, 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 instead of being an action that doesn't, that, that simply runs by itself, there are now many options that you can plug into it. You can change some of its default assumptions. You can preview it in various interactive ways, and it's much more powerful. And the reason that this happened is uh, this is functionality that does not exist in Photoshop proper, but Juliana realized that scripting was the way to go. And so I would ask, first of all, at what point did you see that you were going to go in this direction away from the Photoshop action and more towards more conditional steps? Yes, mm, you said, because it's conditional, so you can perform things uh, that actions can't do. And um, working in Photoshop, uh, you, um, you risk to overwhelm the, the action panels. And uh, it's very difficult to find uh, what, you, what you're searching and uh, to use the, the right uh, action. Now with the panel, as uh, Alessandro said, all is within, so you can, is uh, like a luggage, and you can bring all together and uh, never miss an action or, uh, uh, and, and you, you can continue working without stopping. But uh, the panel with the scripting uh, permits to, um, um, uh, to go beyond. Well, no, to the, the, uh, an example that I think of offhand is um, we use an action that depends on the RGB definition of the user. And prior yeah. to scripting, this was very limiting because I could write an action for myself, but if the user does not happen to have my same RGB settings, then the action is probably worse than useless. It may make the file look worse. But the script senses what the user's RGB Thank is and it, and it applies the correct profile. Yes, and it follows you uh, along the process, uh, along the, your workflow. So it's more easy to work, uh, faster, uh, indeed uh, more faster. I and would say safe also. Yes. It's, much, it's, a, it's a kind of a safe tool. Uh, so you can concentrate on what you are doing and the correction and the work workflow itself without uh, taking care or uh, yes. about uh, what's around, you know. And you have options, uh, you can apply options, you can try many, uh, you can try different things, uh, different workflows, uh, like in the MM uh, action, and uh, decide what is better. You can run, rerun the same, ac the same yeah. action, the same process, uh, more than one. So you can decide in, in to see well, more results. Let, let me push that one a little bit further. This is my favorite of all of the options that were introduced in version three of the panel, which is uh, just finishing its beta process. But she's introduced a new way of running the MMM action. That action requires that the user make a selection uh, that defines for Photoshop what we think the most important area of the picture looks like. Uh, the selection is not used in the actual correction, but it's used to uh, to guide Photoshop in designing a strategy. 
Now, it's hard for many users to know right offhand what exactly the selection should be. It might be a select all, it might be just something done with the lasso, it might be a bunch of non-contiguous selections, it's very hard to say. Um, we, in the first renditions of these panels, it was kind of prohibitively time-consuming to, to try five different ways of doing things. But with the new panel, she's introduced a, um, a method whereby you can do a trial selection and then toggle back and forth between the existing selection and the new one to see if you like it better. So is that your favorite yeah. too? Yes, yeah, me too. Yeah, I think this, is the, mo this is the most important uh, new feature, but there are many, many new options uh, that are not immediately visible upon opening the panel. So anyway, um, I'd like to now turn to Marco because he teaches uh, color correction so much in Italy and of course uh, most English speakers are probably not too um, current on what the thinking is about color correction in Italy. So I'd like to ask uh, Marco about the role of the workflow and color correction generally in his country. Whoa, what a question. All right, um, I'll start in a uh, strange way, maybe. We're talking about the PPW and uh, it is a workflow, it is supposed to go together, but uh, uh, it is indeed a fact that it is made of very interesting steps that sometimes can even work on their own. Uh, I tell you so because uh, uh, most of my students, uh, the ones uh, that come to the first level classes, as I call them, do not receive training in PPW proper uh, because I teach more basic stuff, you know, they still need to learn to curve and everything, so you can't uh, overcharge them <laughs> with things. Uh, but I sh always show them the panel because it is ultimately a panel of tools and it allows you to do things uh, uh, more quickly than uh, if you had to do them by hand. And then they of course try things out and they may not know what the modern man from Mars is but they soon discover that it gives you a variation in color that they cannot obtain with any other technique. So it is uh, uh, interesting in many ways for the expert user who is doing PPW, it is an enormous boost in speed and uh, uh, we already said about the, we already talked about the possibilities of uh, trying things out in a quick way and even I don't think we mentioned that to undo very complex actions in yes, one that's, go. That's it is correct. Yes. Important correct. Uh, and it is about the scripting because you cannot hope to undo no. 150 That's, that's steps correct. Steps you're you're talking, yes. 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 On an intermediate level, People try things out and they may get curious about, oh, what is this thing about false profiles or multiplication or modern man from Mars? And then uh, you say, well, that's PPW and they start studying it. And uh, on a basic level, it is uh, still very interesting because they have tools available. So it, it is a boost in productivity anyway and it makes things very easy uh, because uh, we must say, this is not criticism to Photoshop, but the panel exists because Photoshop can do some things only in tiny steps and we need to put them together to get some results. Yes. There is no original modern man from Mars filter inside Photoshop, so you have to build it with the existing bricks and this is what the panel is really about, in my opinion. Yes. Yeah. So. Ah, okay. and there is also another option that uh, is very, very important, uh, that you set your preference. You mm. can, ah, yes. Uh, yes, you can set and one. register yes. your preference and then you can run the automatic way of, of the button of uh, this process. No, you were not exact because you did more, because uh, you have to, to decide. Every time you want to, um, you go, uh, you alt click on a button, then you get the preference uh, dialog and you can yes. choose if you want to apply that kind of settings once yes. or, or as a preference for the rest of the lifetime. Mm -hmm. Changing preferences, I think, is particularly important in terms of uh, sharpening actions, such as the sharpened one that we provide, and also the action known as the bigger hammer. They are uh, they're designed for a certain size of file, and they work pretty well generally, but if you happen to be one of the people who commonly works with very large files, the settings are not really appropriate, and you should probably introduce your own defaults. Up until recently, this wasn't possible, but now it is. And you can always introduce new values on a case-by-case -case basis now, just if you think it makes the picture look better in a, in a certain case, or you can change a lot of defaults depending on your own uh, workflow. And to see in live preview, so you can oh, yes. decide. Oh uh, yes, the, the previews are uh, incredible. The, the, yeah. Yeah. Image. the live pre preview is a, is a it's a feature that I don't know, as far as I know, <clears throat> that other panels have, and they 
And this is uh, the biggest difference uh, from a regular panel and the PPW panel. It looks more like a plug-in than a panel, actually. Yes. Um, so, in the end, I think, we think, it is a, a very fast panel. It, uh, it adds a lot to the functionality of Photoshop. It makes the workflow easier. It's absolutely free. There is a lot of documentation, so it all seems to be positive. There is one negative side, potentially, yeah. in that the box, because the panel is a very big, complex, luxurious box, but still a box, uh, uh, we don't know what it will be in the future because it depends on what Adobe will decide to do with Photoshop. I mean, if uh, by uh, version CS whatever, panels will not be supported, we are not uh, able to tell you now what's going to happen and which form it will take, but uh, we are sure that the actions will be there and yes. the documentation will be there. Yes. And My scripting too. <laughs> and scripting, yes. Uh, without the panel. Yeah, my my personal back. idea is that PPW4 will have a very important, at least for me, uh, button called Mocha. And when you push on that, <laughs> you will have Italian coffee come ah, out yes. of your uh, Mac or PC, whatever, for free. And, so <laughs> and you can <laughs> choose uh, uh, American coffee, Italian coffee? Uh, it well, it depends on the language. You can download okay. both versions. Yeah, but, exactly. but I guess well, uh, like uh, you need the images for using the panel. Okay. For that option, you will need to buy the coffee separately. But we, everybody knows <laughs> that, that we, we, we work a, a lot during the night, so coffee is very welcome addition. Yes. So that's yes. on the wish list. And uh, I, I will do both because uh, they have to, um, I have to be to ask sorry for my English. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I will do both, right. American coffee, Italian coffee. And right, espresso. Okay. 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 Sounds good. That's all that we need for pre-press is a lot of coffee. So anyhow, thanks to, to you people. Uh, this is our, uh, our panel. Take it as is. Um, you know, not guaranteed for the future, not uh, supported, but there's plenty of documentation, and we think you'll find it quite useful. Thanks. Bye.